Hi, if you have been looking to start a YouTube channel, then this might just be a sign for you. And it's probably where you've clicked on the video. And if you're also here just to uh, learn about YouTube and get some information, then sit back, relax, and enjoy this video because there's a lot that you learn from it. According to the title, this is how YouTube has changed my life with less than a thousand subscribers. You're probably wondering about uh, the check that I've received or how much money I've been making from my YouTube videos. And uh, many of you, I think that is the, the line of your thoughts, but uh, you might just be surprised. I currently live in Kenya and uh, for my country, Kenya, uh, YouTube content creation is not something that was there since the beginning of time. It's something that uh, came to grow rapidly during the lockdown uh, period in 2020. Before that, people used to use YouTube to stream videos and uh, there were a few content creators, but most people, most content creators of this time have come to know YouTube and to create content on YouTube uh, during the COVID-19 period, which was in uh, Mm, the end of 2019 to the beginning of 2020 was there was the biggest wave. So let me talk about my life before content creation. And um, before 2020, 2020, before the big wave of COVID, I had always wanted to. I've always admired people who are in the creative space, people who uh, act, people who sing, people who are known out there. And uh, for me, it was not about the fame, it was about them doing what they love and shining at it. So I really didn't uh, think about acting because I usually get uh, stage frights and anxiety, mad anxiety when I have to perform or uh, talk before a crowd of people. So acting was just not for, uh, for me. Singing, yes, I used to sing in, choir, in uh, the school choir in high school. I used to do even solos. But um, that was also not an option for me. I didn't sit down and uh, think about myself as a musician. So singing was just not what I wanted to do. And for a long time, I really didn't understand what I wanted to do in the creative space until uh, when I started watching a lot of vlogs. And that was in 2020. Let me not lie to you. So I remember watching the few content creators who had come up at the time teenagers and uh, young couples and uh, I loved watching their content back to back and my mother is the one person that really fired up the spirit of me uh, doing content creation on YouTube. Uh, she will find me most of the time watching uh, vlogs and uh, people doing their content on YouTube and uh, she will always talk about it. She will always tell me she sees me spending a lot of time there so maybe I should think about starting my own channel and um, that was a good idea back then. I thought about it, but um, there were a lot of reasons why I did not start doing content at that time. Uh, one, actually my reasons, you're going to listen to them and you're going to think that is such a baseless argument. But at that time it really did matter. First of all, I used to have this notion that uh, for you to be a content creator, you need to be like bougie, you need to be rich and uh, show people a lavish lifestyle. And then I used to think for you to start a channel, you must have a partner, such things, because that was being, uh, that was what was being pro portrayed uh, with the early content creators here in Kenya, those who are doing vlogs and uh, that line of creation. And that is what I thought I would do best. So at that time during lockdown, I was at home and um, I didn't have no partner <laughs> who could start the channel with me and uh, also I was not living a bougie lifestyle of course I was home doing all the farm work and uh, all that kind of stuff so it was just not it. So I kept on aspiring. I also thought uh, about how I'll be shooting the content. I didn't have a ring light, I didn't have a tripod, I didn't have a camera and then um, at the end of 2020, my my current boyfriend is the one who brought up the light a lot. I talked to him about the YouTube thing and he told me you can always just start. And then uh, the good thing is that his sister was doing YouTube already. So she was also a good inspiration. So I remember the first video we shot at her place. I used her ring light. I used her... No, I did not use her camera. 
we used my boyfriend's camera and that video is actually clear you can go back and check my first ever video on youtube you can see the difference from that time and now i was shy i couldn't even talk without heavy breathing and i remember we took like 60 takes take one take two it was just not satisfying because uh, according to me i thought what will be uh, the best will be a perfect video that does not have me having showing any signs of not knowing what i want or stammering or any such thing so we took like uh, that one video took us a whole day to shoot i actually remember even trying to cram the words that i was going to say it's not like right now when i just take the camera and sit in front of it and start talking it's crazy thinking about it right now <laughs> so my journey of content creation started at the time I, and uh, I just knew that I wanted to do YouTube. I was told uh, if you want to do YouTube, you first have to have like five videos before you start posting your first one. You have to know the exact type of content that you want. Okay, for that, uh, uh, YouTube has categories that you choose from. And it was easy. That part was easy because I knew I wanted to do something that... Uh, portrays my free spirit. I'm a free spirit. I don't like to be limited. You can even see from the title of my channel, All in One with Masha. I just want to do everything that I love. So I thought I could do lifestyle, I could do fashion, I could do beauty, vlogs, all that. And um, I've been doing something in line with that. Let me assume that. <laughs> yes, a lot of my vlogs are lifestyle. A day in my life, homemaking, how to live on a budget, pregnancy. Those are lifestyle videos, so that is what I've been mainly majoring in. And um, this far, I still thank God. Let me tell you, for anybody who is thinking to start a, a YouTube channel and you're worried about if you're going to get subscribers, how you're going to get the audience, how your channel is going to grow, just start. Start right now. Don't even wait. Don't even think about it. This is a journey that uh, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain from. Even if uh, you are going to have just 10 subscribers who are your family members, even if it's not going to ever blow up, it is you. It is going to be a beautiful journey that you're going to learn from. You're going to get all the experience that you need. You can see uh, my videos. I edit them myself. I record myself. I edit myself. They might not be the best recording from the best editing, but it is a step better from yesterday's video. Every day is better. And that is all that matters. And uh, you don't have to do a lot for you to put your video out there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to spend hours and hours editing and writing scripts and all that. I don't do that anymore. I record my video. I just cut out some parts to make the video not to be too long. And I put out there the content. And uh, it is what it is. So most people worry about views on YouTube. When you post out a video and you don't get views. Let me tell you. There are some times that I will post a video. Like I have a video here. Uh, on my playlist there is a video on homemaking I put out that video after a six months break and uh, that video did so well for the first like three days I remember the first day with, before 24 hours it had gotten 100 views and those are a lot compared to the number of subscribers that I have so it looked like tough. it looked like a very promising video but uh, at right now it's been like three weeks and it's at it's at 350 views and then you can have a video that doesn't pick up so well. You can uh, have like 15 views in 3 hours. Like I, I posted a video here about the rugby weekend that I went to watch my brothers playing. And uh, in like 24 hours it only has 25 views. So for any YouTuber who is out there, they can be looking at that. Or any person who is not even doing YouTube. And they might be thinking, oh that is so demoralizing. YouTube doesn't pay for views. Okay, views do count when it comes to to the overall outlook, but what is important is the watch hours, the contact time that uh, is there between your content and the your audience. So, so if you're going to base your success on the views, then you're going to be very disappointed because you can put out a video and be like, this video is going to really do well or it's going to blow up and then it doesn't. And what are you going to do about it? If you're going to be demoralized that fast then you're going to you're not going to continue the journey which is not supposed to be happening so youtube can be can be a little disappointing 
because you might put in a lot of work just like I've said and you might not get what you wanted to get but uh, consistency is key for me what keeps me going is that um, it is what I love to do it is what I wanted to do before I sat down and decided I'm going to open a channel I decided that this is what I wanted to do so whether I have one subscriber whether I have five subscribers I am going to do YouTube till the very end I remember there was this one time that uh, I'd gotten to 760 subscribers and then uh, I was not posting then you'd come back and get that some people were unsubscribing you wake up and four people are gone you stay till the evening and other four have gone but then there are also other new people who subscribe to your content whether you were posting or not they just view your video and then they decide to support you and that is beautiful so I appreciate everybody that uh, believes in others and uh, tries to support them not judging them, not trying to bring them down. That is beautiful. You're a beautiful human. Thank you for your humanity. So, um, for me, YouTube has changed my life in various ways. It has uh, built my confidence. You can see that with the difference from the first video and this video that I'm doing right now. Right now, I can comfortably sit before a camera, talk, uh, uh, openly share what I have in mind. Uh, close the camera post out my video, but in the beginning I had to even cram lines for God's sake But right now uh, things are better. I really don't have to struggle a lot mm -hmm. That is one and then uh, YouTube has given me a space um, To share my ideas to share my thoughts To just share my content share whatever I feel like sharing with the people that uh, are out there my I feel good when I go to a video and I find a subscriber who is not in my contact list or a close friend not in my friend circle and they they talk about my content having been helpful like I remember in potty training there's a lady who came and commented this is just the information that I needed and it was so heartwarming that one comment just kept me going even if there was no other comment or no other view on that day that would have been enough for me and then um I've been uh, I've also been able to to grow as a person YouTube has saved me a lot of times let me not lie to you um, you can see these videos that are up here these are this is me dancing in this period I was not recording any YouTube content I was um, depressed I was lost I was not going to school I was not going to work I was just alone in my own world but um, Anytime I'll take a camera and just put before me and try to record a video. I never posted those uh, videos. I intended them to be a sort of a diary where I would uh, show my experience from the first day to the last day of the six months that I was not posting because I was just not in the right mental space. But uh, unfortunately, I lost the video when I lost my device and uh, the data refused to sync. But... Um, it was beautiful maybe that was just not meant to be seen by the public maybe it was god saving i don't know but it is what it is so uh youtube is beautiful let no one tell you that uh, you need to get to a thousand subscribers before you start enjoying the benefits of youtube if you're here just to wait for monetization and adsense then you're you might actually be in the wrong place because that might take a long while you never know when your youtube will, like, will explode you never know when uh, you you will go viral you just never know so you just keep pushing keep doing what you do and youtube has actually introduced um, a different monetization if you have like 500 subscribers there's a type of monetization that you can apply for so check out their emails they only send emails and uh, creator ideas check those they're actually really helpful i've been trying to put what they tell me into practice and it's been working and for any YouTuber out there, your your content might not be captivating people right now. You might be doing the most. It might not seem to bear the fruits. But what I'm going to tell you is that just keep pushing. Every day you wake up, do you. Do what you want to do. Put in the work. Leave the rest to God. Uh, I, in my country here, there's a, a saying that goes, Pray to Allah, but tie your camel. Allah is God, a camel is an animal that um, many people who live in dry areas use as a means of transport and also for meat. 
So yes, God will help you, but you also need to put in the work. You might have prayed all your prayers, but keep going, keep pushing. Leave the rest to God. Do your work and leave the rest to God above all. So don't stop. YouTube changes lives. You might not see it now because you're not receiving any payment or any AdSense, but it is changing you as a person. It is exposing you to a greater stage. People will get to know you. You'll get a platform to share your ideas, and you never, you might just never know who is watching. So keep going, creators. Keep doing what you love to do. So I hope you find this video helpful. Share this video with your friends if you think it might help them for anyone who is doing YouTube and is a small creator or for anyone who is intending to start their YouTube journey. Share with them. And um, I don't know when my YouTube will ever explode but if it does, I'll repost this video again to just keep the others going. Road to a thousand subscribers. I'm on the 100 days challenge. This is day 13 of 100. By the time I reach day 100 of 100, I'll be at 10,000 subscribers. It may seem impossible to all of you, but to me it's very possible. So that is all for today. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.